Good morning and welcome to your Monday Memo. With me today is Brock. Brock is one of our outstanding juniors here at FHS. Brock, Good thank you for here. being here, especially for being here on short notice. You're great. Uh, Brock is in our TV broadcast here at FHS. He's also in the sports broadcasting at the CTE. And this weekend he became a celebrity in the Dallas Morning News. Brock, will you tell us a little bit about that? After the Frisco football team went 0-10 my, uh, my freshman year, I decided to um, make the Twitter account Is Frisco Back after we defeated Lake Dallas last year. And after every Frisco win, I tweet, yes, the raccoons are back. And uh, last week, I um, was reached out to by Joe Hoyt of the Dallas Morning News, and he came to interview me before the Reedy game, and I was featured in an article for the Dallas Morning News. I would have to say, Brock, that uh, two years ago when you were a freshman, we were 0-5 at this time, and today we're 5-0, and and I don't see any reason we can't finish out undefeated, so I'm going to go out there with you and say Frisco Raccoons are definitely back. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, Brock. Uh, please allow me several announcements. I'm sorry about the length of the announcements today. We have a bunch of them. Uh, and then Brock will cover our weekly calendar. Here at FHS, we do celebrate our extracurricular accomplishments, and rightfully so. But our main mandate has and always will be the curricular. This morning, I want to celebrate nine FHS students that are the fulfillment of one of the highest academic honors a high school student can re receive. That is to receive National Merit Semifinalist Commended and Scholar status. We have two semifinalists, six commended, and one Hispanic scholar. To reach this level of recognition takes extraordinary, exhausting work on the part of the students and incredible family support. Taylor, Arjun, Aswin, Paige, Charles, Ellis, Garrett, and Albert, we are so proud of you and so blessed to have you here at FHS. Speaking of national merit, on October the 16th, the PSAT will be given to all sophomores and juniors at FHS. Sophomores and juniors should arrive at normal school hours. We'll start at 9 o'clock. That day, however, will be late arrival for 9th and 12th graders only. The school day for 9th and 12th graders will begin at 1230. Please see the attachment on this email about late bus arrival schedule. On that same topic, on March the 4th, 2020, all 11th graders will be taking the SAT during the school day at no cost to our families. More information will be coming in the spring. Please stay tuned. Parking passes. All student drivers must have a parking sticker. Stickers can be obtained from Ms. Tater at the late gate. The form must be signed by the parent. You must show proof of insurance listing the driver's name and a valid driver's license. Students that have paid online must still fill out the parking form and bring their receipt of payment to receive their pass. Please know that students that don't have a ticker can be ticketed and we have begun that process. State Fair of Texas. Uh, students that are interested in going to the fair can pick up their ticket at the late gate. Uh, stop by and pick up your ticket so that you can go. Senior cap and gown announcements. I realize it's the fall, but the spring comes so quickly. Students need to be sure to take order information home to their parents. They received it yesterday in a meeting. Campus order dates for graduation will be the following, Monday the 7th, Tuesday the 8th, during all lunches. Our Jostens rep will also stay until 6 p.m. on Tuesday 10 8 to assess any students or families after school as well. The blood drive. Seniors, do you want to earn a red cord for graduation? Then sign up to give blood. The FHS blood drive will be on October the 10th. Check your school email for the link to sign up to give to donate. Remember, you must give twice during your senior year to earn a red cord. Please see Nurse McGill in the clinic if you have any questions. Another announcement for seniors, have you thought about how you're going to pay for college? The free application for federal student aid, or FAFSA, opens October the 1st. If you'd like to see more information about FAFSA, FAFSA, and scholarships, please see Ms. Jessica Mitchell in the lecture hall on Thursday, October the 3rd during FLEX. Though this is primarily for seniors, 9th through 11th graders are welcome to join as well. Now Brock, will you please take our calendar? On Tuesday, junior class ring orders will be in the cafeteria. Varsity Tennis takes on Wakeland at Wakeland from 4 to 9. Volleyball takes on Independence here at Frisco High School starting at 5.30, and the Frisco High School Band performs at the Ford Center in the Frisco ISD Showcase starting at 7 p.m. On Wednesday, our counselors will be hosting Hot Topics in the library at 8.15. The topic discussed will be financial aid. And on Tuesday, the JV Tennis Team takes on Independence at Independence at 4.30. 
On Thursday, Cross Country will compete in the race at the lake at Lynn Creek Park in Grand Prairie. Great. Also on Thursday, JV football takes on Princeton at Princeton High School at 5.30. And the Orchestra Fall Cluster Concert will be in the auditorium at 6.30. On Friday, the Blood Drive is in the library parking lot from 7 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. And the JV Volleyball team takes on Lone Star at Lone Star High School starting at 5.30. Also on Friday, the Varsity Football team takes on Princeton at Memorial Stadium. Kickoff is 7 p.m. Come out and see why Frisco is back. Brock already mentioned us in the weekly calendar, but I wanted to pay special attention to this. This last week, our band made the final, the Classics on the Lake Marching Band Contest in Little Elm. Great work, FHS band. Tonight, you can see why this band is so special if you want to turn out to the FISD Band Showcase at the Ford Center. I invite you to be there. The showcase will begin at 7 p.m. I know I'll be there. Please come out and support our band. Brock, thanks for joining me. You're a great kid. Appreciate it. Great work. Looking forward to seeing you with the FHS band tonight at the Ford Center. Thank you for joining us. As always, it's a pleasure to serve the families at FHS and have a great week.